Hey guys, it's Mira here. So in today's video, we are going to go through the recent updates of Samsung Notes through a Samsung Galaxy Tab, the Tab S6 Lite. If you would like to know how folders work and how to set a default template to your note and more, please check my first video in the info card. For your information, I have the 4.3.03.5 version of the Samsung Notes. You can check what version you have by clicking on the show navigation menu on the top left corner choose setting scroll down until you find about samsung note other than that let's start number one view in the samsung notes on the top right corner when you click the three vertical dots there is an option called view you can choose to view all your notes either in a grid list or simple list I much prefer to keep it in a grid view. Number 2. Toolbar When we open the latest version of the Samsung Notes, we will find that the toolbar looks a lot different than before. In fact, you can actually customize your toolbar. Simply go to the settings of the Samsung Notes and scroll down until you find the customized toolbar. With this, you can remove and also reorder the toolbar like so. Now, let's go through the toolbar one by one from left to right. Number 3, Text Mode. The text mode is used if you would like to type out your notes. As you can see, you can even add checklists, numbered lists, and bullet points. Aside from the basic bold, italic, underline, and strike through, you can also change the color of your text and add a background. You can also increase or decrease the size of the text align it to the left, center, or to the right, and lastly make an indent. Number 4, Pen Mode. Samsung Notes still provide the same 5 types of pen tools, Fountain Pen, Calligraphy Pen, Pen, Pencil, and Calligraphy Brush. But, there are a few added features. For example, the pen tool now has added an option where you can either have a consistent flow of ink, the left option, or have the ink flow with the curve and pressure of your pen stylus. I imagine that the second option would be great if you want to do calligraphy. For the pencil tool, they have also given you the option to increase or decrease the opacity of the color. Number 5, Shrink Pen Settings Before, the Samsung Notes would have a smaller box at the bottom that can be detached and moved around. Now, you will need to choose the Shrink Pen Settings option to access this. With this, it has become much easier to change which type of pen you would like to use, color, size, and opacity. But if you would like to access your favorite pens or highlighters, you will need to click on the pen emoji with the little star at the bottom. Here is where you will find your bookmarked pens. If you would like to add, simply click on the plus sign or the three horizontal dots at the bottom of the box. This is also where you can delete any pens or highlighters you don't want to choose anymore. You can even reorder the pens and highlighters. This small box can be moved around or attached to the side of your note. I find that when I leave this small box on, I wouldn't be able to access the pen and highlighter mode on the toolbar. See, no matter how many times I click on it, nothing happens. I realize that I will need to close the small toolbox first and then I can access the pen and highlighter mode in the toolbar. If you had used the Samsung Notes before this update, you might need some time to adjust to this change. Number 6, Highlighter Mode Samsung still offers the same two types of highlighter mode, which is Highlighter and Marker. The main difference between these two types are Highlighter has a sharper edge, while Marker has a rounded edge. The reason there are four options here is because there is Regular Mode and Straight Line Mode, so it becomes much easier for you to highlight any text neatly if you choose the Straight Line option. By the way, here is a tip. I often use the Straight Line Marker to make colourful bullet points. Eraser and Lesser Tool 
Eraser and Lasso tools are still the same. There aren't any updates on both of these features. So if you would like some more info on this, you can check out my first video in the info card or in the description box below. Number 7. Pen Colors Pen colors are for you to easily interchange between colors you frequently use. That is why I have the common black, red and blue. With this tool, I do not need to double tap my pen to change its color in the shrink box. Instead, I can easily change whichever color I want by choosing at the toolbar. Samsung Notes has also introduced swatches or spectrum options. To change the color, simply choose whichever you want and then click on done. Number 8. Pen Size Pen Size tool is basically where you can easily change the size of your pen, highlighter or marker. Number 9. S Pen to Text With the S Pen to Text tool, you can simply write your words and it will instantly become a text. Number 10. Straighten If you want to straighten your handwriting, you can choose the Straighten tool to help you. Number 11. Convert to Text Convert to Text will help to convert your handwriting to text, but just bear in mind it might not be accurate as it depends on how good your handwriting is. Number 12. Change Style Change Style tool is a quick and easy way to change the style of your handwriting. Once you have chosen your size and color, just run your stylus across the handwritten text you would like to change and it's done. Number 13. Easy Writing Pad Easy Writing Pad exists to help you write more accurately and neatly with the help of a box underneath your Samsung Notes. Number 14. Neat Shapes Neat Shapes mode will make it easier to draw shapes such as squares, rectangles, circles, ovals, and etc. But bear in mind that the neat shapes cannot be erased with the eraser mode. However, you have three options to delete the shapes. Number 1. Touch and hold the shapes with your stylus until the delete option appears. Number 2. If you had your finger drawing mode off, use your finger and tap the shape, then delete. Number 3. Last option is to use the lasso tool to select and delete your shape. Number 15. Zoom Lock The last tool on the toolbar is called Zoom Lock. With Zoom Lock, you can only use two fingers to move the note up and down. I often leave this unlock as I like to easily zoom in and out of my notes and I can also use only one finger to move the note around. So, that is all for the toolbar. For me, I would remove the S Pen to Text, Straighten, Convert to Text, and Easy Writing Pad tool as I don't use them as often as others. Number 16, Page Template To access the page template from your note, just click on the three vertical dots on the top right corner and choose the page template. As you can see, they offer blanks, reads, lines, a template for you to write music notes, and even a calendar template. The recent update has also provided us with a PDF option. There are a lot of PDF template options to choose from, but you will need to download it into your tablet first to use it in your notes. Unfortunately, there isn't any way to view the file before you download it, but with the PDF, they will give you up to 7 pages of template. If you don't like the inconsistency in the pages, just click on page sorter, delete the pages that you don't want, and for the page that you do like, you can just copy and paste on the page before. I do wonder why they decided to give a PDF file with different templates on every page. Number 17, Page Setting To change the color of your page, you can go to the page setting. The color options are still the same as before. However, they have also added scroll direction options. When you hold your tablet vertically, they will only display two scroll options. Vertical or horizontal but if you hold your tablet horizontally there are three scroll options the third one is two page horizontal and this is very nifty because you can access two pages of your note at the same time number 18 full screen and palm rejection there are so many more features if you click on the more option for example you can make your note full screen and if you would like to exit, just click on the cross button. Apart from that, if you are concerned with palm rejection, simply click finger drawing off and this will activate the palm rejection for Samsung Notes. Number 19. Insert images, PDF, 
voice recording and more. On the insert tab, you can insert images from your gallery or directly from your camera. You can also insert any PDF file that you have downloaded. Aside from that, you can even voice record your lecturers while writing your notes by inserting the voice recording. We are going to do a lot of drawings. Da -di -da -di -da -di -da -di -da. And when you play the voice recording, it will also show the exact thing you wrote during your lecture. A lot of drawings. Da -di -da -di -da -di -da -di -da -di one, two, three, testing, one, two, three. Use split screen. Split screen is a very nifty way for you to access two notes at the same time. Just simply split screen and then on your second screen, choose the Samsung Notes app again. Then open the notes that you want. I imagine that this is very useful if you would like to open your notes on your first screen and open your exercise on the second screen. Alright, we are done. So those are the 20 features that I would like to share with the recent update of the Samsung Note. If you would like to see more tips such as how to set the default page template, manage folders and etc, please watch my first video. Apart from that, I hope that this video is beneficial to you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.